Okay, this is the Mongoose CX 24 volt 200. And what I wanted to do, and you know, we didn't use this thing that much. As you can see, it's in pretty good shape. We didn't use it that much, but it sat for a number of years and the battery held the charge for about two minutes. Now, there's the original batteries, you know, and uh, whatever they are, uh, ever, however, seven amp hours. So I went with these 15 amp hour batteries, and that'll be the number you could use. Now, I went with two of them, okay? And what you do, this battery pack was hard to open. You had to take it off. You got to take out two top screws, and this plate comes, these plates come off down there. And then on the bottom, you got this red plate, these three screws. And then you unplug the harnesses. They're pretty easy. They pretty much plug and play. So you unplug the harnesses, you take the whole box out, and these little Allen keys are in there. And it was hard to get an Allen key that was long enough. I had to get a long one to fit down this, this tube to get to these screws. So I did good anyway, and that's done. So now I'm going to put it all back together, but... These, when you get this, when you open it, it looks like this. With these styrofoams on top of the battery. Take them out. And now these larger batteries should fit. So now you're going to increase your range from 12 miles to who knows. But it's probably going to take a long time to charge. But it'll run a long time. So I hope that helped anybody out. So you, you get the battery box out. with those. You take off the fairings. And then there's a little metal plate on the bottom. You take that off on the left side of the bike. And then this, this is the side that, you, that I unscrewed to get the batteries. It's hard to even see in there. So you, you know, go to the opposite side of the switch and unscrew from that side. And I'll post. We'll see how this comes out when I'm done, if it, if it fits the way they said it would. But we're going to find out. I hope that helped anybody doing this because I couldn't find any YouTube videos on how to change the batteries on these stupid things. But it turned out to be a Phillips screwdriver and an Allen key head.